Okay, so I decided that I wanted to try to make my own stencil. Um, I want to show you what I got. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It's called Stencil Blanks. This is the brand, I guess. It has 12 stencil blanks for $6.99 and they're 8 by 10 And it is really, really thick. I mean, really, really thick. Um, I had to cut this nine times on my Cricut. This is a five and a half inch Statue of Liberty from Destinations. Is it? Or it might be Stand and Salute. This one's from Stand and Salute. And, um, Anyway, yeah, so it's five and a half inches, and um, what I want to do, I was going to cut it out and just layer it and make it really thick, but I decided I would, I would rather try this, just because I was really tr wanting to try to make my own stencil. So we're going to hold this down, and we're going to use our modeling paste, and I need a palette knife. I had gotten a whole package of these plastic ones from Michaels. They're in a little package, and I think it was like $2.99 for a whole bunch of them. There might be in like 10 of them in the package, as opposed to just buying one for $3.99 or $2.99, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just put it on here liberally because there's already a ton of texture on there so I just want to and this stuff smells to me it smells like bleach that's a, not a very pleasant odor if I had one complaint about it I don't know if that's just a Liquitex thing or if that is just a modeling paste thing <laughs> okay so let's see what we got nice oh I love it that is cool so I'm going to put this I have a what I've been doing is keeping a dish pan full of hot water or warm water by now it's cold and I just, every time something gets used, I just put it in there. And that way when I go to wash it, it's not all caked on and make more work for myself. So I'm going to save that. Yeah, that stuff doesn't smell very good. And so now I just have to allow that to dry. And then we're going to do something to it. Okay, so stay tuned. Bye.